<clears throat> okay, hello YouTube. We're here with another dive video. I believe this is 23, possibly 23 or 24. Anyways, let's get down to what I found. I guess we found one of these, another one of these stickers for your Gears of War. Found a carrying case for a PSP game. Found a PS Vita carrying case. Well, game carrying case, anyways. Plus, now that it has carts, it's all like a DS style type of deal. Except the carts are a little smaller. Found another one of these carrying cases for the DS. I think it'll work either with the DS or the 3DS, it looks like. Well, unlike uh, most of the carrying cases, this one doesn't even say Nintendo DS on it. I found another case. I guess this one's to hold the uh, 3DS. Also got a couple spots to put some games, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. I think what I what I would say is probably the best find of the night. I'll just save it for later. I found some Club Nintendo points. I don't care. You guys can see the codes, but they've already been used. Got me a 200 points worth of codes right there. I always manage to keep finding codes for the actual 3DS, which gives 160. I always go and use them and spend them on game downloads. It's pretty cool. I wish game. I wish uh the how do you call it? I wish the Xbox would do the same thing. Found some more of these games that I thought they had already gotten rid of. Only one thing though. This is The Sims. It says, see, it says PS2, but it's a not a PS2 game. It's The Sims for the computer. If you can tell if you look on the bottom around here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but around here you'd normally see the PS logo, the PS2 logo. Like, let's pull out this SoCon game right here. As you can see around the edge, there's a PS logo. Yeah, see, should be able to see it. I can see it. It doesn't have that, and I already tried it out on the PS2, so my assumptions are right. It's I don't know why it says PS2 on the K on the little envelope to it, but it's a game for the PC. I think the only game I found that I didn't have, I had yet to find, was the SOCOM 1 game, U.S. Navy SEALs. I found I found plenty of copies of the SOCOM 2 game. Of course, another game I already have, NHL 2K6, another one, NBA Live 2005, Madden 07, and uh, let's see, Sub Rebellion, and another Madden game, 2005, with the murderer Ray Lewis. Okay, the last game I found... Grand Theft Auto 4, or er, we'll call it Grand Theft Scott 4. There's a shout out to you, Deep Hero Productions, <laughs> as always. I guess it comes like that. From now on, Grand Theft Auto will be known as Grand Theft Scott. It didn't come with no manual, but it came with the discs, which are in pretty good shape. I mean, in reference to the last time I found Grand Theft Auto 4 for the Xbox, it was all cracked and fucked up, so it don't work. But we already downloaded it to the computer, and it works pretty fine to me, so don't got to worry about it now. Plus, it's a Games for Windows version. So, you can still get the achievements, which is even much better for me since I like achievements. What I thought was possibly the best find of the night is this it's for the iPod it's for the iPod it's a I guess a skin or a shell or whatever 
but Star Wars, Darth Vader. I thought that was pretty cool, so when I finally get me an iPod, got me a little skin for it. Plus, uh, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan myself anyway, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's all I have for you for this week. We'll see what happens on Sunday. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a big haul. Who knows? Oh, and I hope everybody enjoyed the WrestleMania weekend. Anybody that out there that watches wrestling. I thought it was a pretty decent show. I know some people didn't like it, but you know, it is what it is. If you're going to bitch and whine about wrestling, you may as well not even watch it. Anyways, half the people that are bitching are the people that are watching this shit on live streams for free. So you know, you really have no reason to bitch if you're watching it for fucking free. Anyways, I had fun. I enjoyed WrestleMania again. It was not a crap show like a lot of people said. I guess you got it. Sometimes with wrestling, you got to take take it with a grain of salt. You're not always going to get what you want. You're not always going to see what you want to see. Just enjoy the here and now. Because it could either get worse or it could get better from here on. And usually it gets worse. Just try to have fun with it. If you're not having fun watching wrestling, then you don't need to be watching it. But anyways, that's all I have for now. To any of my subscribers, thanks for subscribing. To anyone that's gonna that anyone else that watches these videos, go ahead and subscribe. I could always use some extra subscribers. You subscribe to me, I'll damn well subscribe to you. So pretty much you're getting a subscriber, not getting a subscriber. Anyways, that's it for now. Later's.